2021 YZ125. Let's do this. Hey, what's up guys, Rado here, and these right here are the parts from 2001 YZ125, and today finally we are going to start building this bike from the frame up. So we're gonna be installing the races, bearings, greasing everything, putting suspension on, a lot of good stuff happening today. We got some flames here to heat up our frame, our bearings from Factory Links are in the freezer, triple clamps is almost ready, we need to install bearing on that as well. So at the end of this video, all these things on the table will start to look Little bit like a dirt bike again. Factor Link's bearing kit comes with everything you need and uh, all stuff is packed in the, in the little uh, plastic bags. And especially for the races and the bearings, make sure that you keep those together as they are not the same for the bottom and the top. We came to a dirt bike TV garage. This is Jay Clark. He has this super old and uh, really nice press, arbor press that uh, is not hydraulic. So you actually feel the strength you are using. And as you can see, we already have the stem out from the triple clamp and this is the best way to do it. You need a couple little spacers and this is you see the the arbor press probably like 50 years old and it just does an amazing job now it's important that some of those stems are a little bit below the surface as you can see here we are using this little spacer that will push it a little bit in so it's not flush uh, with a triple clamp it's a little bit more in so the best if you can take a picture before you take it apart so then you know exactly how deep you need to go with your stem if you don't do that it will feel funny when you put it together just put a little grease on the bottom bearing and before you do that you make sure which one is bottom you need to look at both and uh, you know establish that that this is the bottom and the other one is the top so you can see you always push uh, on the inner race uh, on the bearing never touch the bearing it should always be uh, like this kind of moving when you when you press it that moving part should always be free super easy job if you have good tools for it right on everything is done there and now uh, Jay has this little tool from uh, one guy from Australia. I'll put his uh, Instagram here on the screen. He's doing these 3D printing tools that make your, make your life easier in the dirt bike industry. It's pretty fun. So we just use that. We press some grease around. And as we are pressing the grease from the grease uh, gun, we are rotating that little uh, tool. So we will get grease evenly everywhere. As you can see, it's uh, pretty much packed, ready for installation. I got something special for you guys. This is a cutout from the steering stem from YZ, but aluminum frame. But you can see how everything goes together. Right here on the top is a race that is installed in the, in the frame and same on the bottom here. So we need to do that. We need to install these two races and then you will take your bearing. It will go on the top and then it will be covered with whatever needs to be on the top. The top and bottom bearings are a little bit different. I always keep together the race and the bearing. I throw them in the freezer uh, or if you just transport them uh, when you work on your stuff, make sure that they stay together. So I put this rubber band together. I'm gonna be careful to heat up only the insides. I don't wanna burn any of this uh, powder coat. Walking down the avenue where we used to play. The house on the corner is still the same today. As it was when we were children Innocent as innocent can be I borrowed all your records You borrowed mine from me We sat and talked for hours In a box hung in a tree And we stole your daddy's last bottle of gin Those were the times Those were the ways So take me back This is the grease I'm gonna use. We need to pack upper bearing. Bottom is done. We did that at Jay's garage. So we're gonna pack the bottom. I'm almost done. I did a few bikes with this grease. I like this old school way. It's kind of fun to do it. Spread it on the palm of your hand. Just like that. 
kind of even layer if you can. And then grab your bearing and just work it in. So take me back to the good old day. Looking back from here, I can see that we were blind to the burdens we would shoulder and the struggles we would find. But growing made us strong as strong can be. All right, so I think this bearing is packed. For the record, no need to put grease on the stem. So take me back. So take me back to the good old day. Ice cream until our heads. We were trading candy bars and sticks of bubble gum. Trying not to laugh in church. Of course, this is not a final adjustment. We're gonna play with everything once the bike is all together. It goes a washer. Those were the times. Ooh, ooh, those were the ways. Oh, oh, oh. So take me back. Take me back. This bike came with the fade bars when I got it and it, it had those little, you know, razors uh, on the triple clamps. I don't need that. I want to go back to stock 7.8. I think it looks the best uh, on this old school bike. So we want to keep that heritage. And I had to order OEM clamps that goes on the top because it didn't come with the bike. This has a fade bar clamps before. So we're going to install this ODI stock looking bars. We got a spec bolt restoration kit with everything I need. So out of this, uh, bolts right here. I got four out. This would be for the handlebars and these are the stock clamps for 7.8. Let's put it together. Walking down the avenue where we used to play. The house on the corner is still the same today as it was when we were children. Innocent as innocent can be. your records you borrowed mine from me we sat and talked for hours in a box hung in a tree and we stole your daddy's last bottle of gin this thing is looking kind of like a dirt bike finally we got our suspension here i even installed the rear shock i just wanted to know how everything looks together I don't know about you, but I'm liking the colors. I'm liking uh, all these uh, balls, you know, and the Sarah coating we have done. Everything is coming together quite nice. Uh, I think that's enough fun for one day. We have a lot more coming. The beautiful engine will be here and all kinds of uh, other parts here. So the next video, we're gonna take it much further. But for today, I wanted to get start. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know below in the comments and don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.